Well, what I think is this, well, what are we talking about? You want to say, who is the subject of this statement? And the answer is son of man. That means human being. Please note, it means a human being. Son of man is exactly what Adam was, what Jesus is, son of man. So what if you see the human being going back to where that human being was? Uh-oh. Nothing to do with a God, the Son, pre-existing. But where was there a human being in Old Testament times seen to be with God in heaven in Daniel chapter 7? So this is the Messiah. Now let me make this point to you. The Bible is not, I repeat, not an Australian, not a British, not an American book. Let me give you an example. People read that Jesus said he would be three days and three nights in the heart of the earth. They said, there you go. 72 hours. Well, it might mean that to you, but you've got to be learned enough to know that Hebrew ways of speaking and thinking are not always the same as what you think. So let's start with this thing about where people are before. And I want to point out to you that in James chapter 1, these are parallel passages in the New Testament. In James chapter 1, you'll find that everything by way of a good gift, James 1.17 and James 3.15, for your notes, James 1.17 and James 3.15. James there said, that's the brother of Jesus, every good gift comes down from heaven. Now, you don't say that in English. I grant that. But you've got to read the Bible in a Hebraic atmosphere in which it was written. So in Hebrew ways of thinking, a good gift comes down from heaven. We might, I say, I suppose, say, if we had a new baby born in, in the family, we might say, this is a God-given gift. It came down from heaven, you could say. We probably wouldn't say that. But in the Bible, they do. So Jesus says, what if you were to see the human being, Jesus, going to where he was in that vision which preceded in Daniel. That's where he was before. What if you would see him ascend? And they eventually did see the ascension of the Son of Man to the position that he's occupying in that vision in Daniel 7. That would be pretty amazing. The other point I want to make is this, that Jesus in that same passage talks about his flesh as coming down. You want to buy that? His human flesh is what came down from heaven. So this is nothing whatever to do with pre-existing as an angel or pre-existing as God. What you don't know is that rabbis said that when Moses went up the mountain, he was going up to see God. Not literally. Didn't Jesus say, what if you see the Son of Man being put up on the cross? Just as Moses put a serpent on a cross and said, look at that. So in the same way, Jesus was going to be put up at his death on the cross for our sins. This is a little bit difficult, but you need a good library available if possible and see that these are ways of speaking which are not your ways. So this is an excellent question. Jesus did ask them and they found this difficult. Some of the disciples said, this is too difficult. We're going to leave. We're going to get somewhere else. This is too difficult. So even the Bible admitted that this was hard for people. But amazing thing would be if you saw the Messiah, the Son of Man, eventually returning to where he was as the Son of Man in Daniel 7. That's in the 6th, 6th century BC. Something like that will help you. There's also a verse in John 3 which says that the Son of God or the Son of Man is in heaven. Well, he wasn't. How can you be in heaven when you're standing on the earth? You can, in Hebrew ways of thinking. Do you remember that Paul said that we Christians are seated with Jesus in heaven? You're not. You're not sitting in heaven. Come on. So these are purely Hebraic ways of thinking, and you have to allow the overall major truths of the Bible to prevail. God is one person. That's what Jesus said. The Father is an I, a me, a thee, a thou, a himself, thousands upon thousands of times. And Jesus, of course, is the Son of God. And you begin by studying that in Matthew and Luke. That's how he began, by miracle in the womb of his mother. That's what you have to do to be a human being. Jesus did not come down out of heaven and enter through 
the womb of Mary, that's just quite foreign to the Bible. He came from his mother as all human beings do. The difference was that he was miraculously begotten. The word beget, you probably don't know this in English, but it means to come into existence. You begin to exist. Hence, Matthew can talk about the genesis of Jesus in Matthew 1, 1, 1, 18. Jesus had a genesis. Isn't that a marvelous truth? He had a beginning. And so we can relate to him because we also are human. We had our beginnings in the wombs of our mothers also. Yes, uh, John 3, 13, I believe you were yes. referencing. Yes. Some translations or mm -hmm. manuscripts uh, include there the Son of Man who is who, in heaven. Which is in heaven, yes. King James? Or yes, who is which in heaven? of course is King James. Who is in heaven? I see one of them there. ASV. And that may in fact be correct. It was a difficult thing for people to understand, so it tended to get dropped. But there it is in the Aramaic Bible and plain English. The Son of Man who is in heaven. So Jesus said when he was standing there on the earth, meaning then that he is, think of it this way, Jesus is a kind of a ladder to heaven. He fills the bridge he creates a bridge between God in heaven and us on the earth. And so that's the form of language being used there. That's not the way you would say it in your Australian or British or American, but that's a Hebrew way of thinking. Yeah, it's interesting you talk about a ladder mm. to heaven because mm. in the opening of the gospel, in John chapter 1, as you know, conversation with Philip and Nathaniel, uh, verse 49, you are the son of God, the king of Israel. Jesus says, do you believe just because I told you, I saw you under the fig tree, you will see greater things than these. You will see future, right? Then he said, truly, truly, amen, amen, I tell you, you will all see heaven open, angels of God this ascending, descending yes. on the Son of Man. So that's an interesting that's wonderful. prophecy. Wonderful. I believe it's a prophecy, obviously. Absolutely. Of of his exaltation, perhaps. Yes. So. 